Sometimes people tell us things, but we just can't quite believe them, no matter how long or detailed their side of a story is. That's because their gestures and facial expressions contradict with what they're really saying or what they really mean. So what are the gestures that we're supposed to look out for when we suspect that a person may not be telling the truth? After reading several books on body language, I now know that there are seven common lying gestures. So the first one is the mouth cover. That can be done either by just covering the mouth with several fingers, two fingers, whatever, or an entire fist as the person is speaking, or maybe it can be done less obviously by just faking a cough. Now this is the mind's subconscious way of just kind of stopping the lie from coming out. Then the second gesture is the nose touch. That's, that is done either by a couple of, you know, just rub the nose a couple of times or just touch the nose quickly. And that is done also because when the lie is being told, chemicals in the nose are being released, which cause the tissues to swell. So you just want to, you know, you just feel the urge to rub your nose or touch it. Then the third gesture is the eye rub. Now that is also the mind's way of kind of just not letting you see a distasteful thing. And in this case, it's basically the person who is being lied at. So, you know, men, are also, uh, men also tend to rub their, nose, their eyes vigorously. <laughs> okay, and then the fourth gesture is the ear scratch. Now that is also just basically a combination or could be one of these just sticking a, a finger in the ear or tugging on the ear lobe or you know scratching the ear or just even pulling it just you know doing that closing the ear. So that is also when a person might not be telling the truth. So you might have seen someone before who is basically saying well this only costs $300 and then the person would reply by saying yeah sounds like a good deal to me. So, tugging on the ear, you know, not really being honest. And then we have the neck scratch. That is the fifth gesture. So it's done by the index finger of the writing hand five times, just, you know, somewhere over here below the ear. So of course, you're not just gonna sit there and count one, two, no, don't do that. But if a person's just itching their neck, you know, as they're saying something, they look uncomfortable, then you know they are not telling the truth. Then you have the sixth gesture, which is the collar pull. Now that is also because there's going to be like a tingling sens sensation. Oh, what happened? A tingling sens sensation right in the neck area. So the person is going to satisfy that by pulling or tugging on the collar of their top. So, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have the last seventh gesture, which is the arms. So when a person's talking, yeah, you know, they're moving their hands freely. I do that a lot. But then you're moving the hands and then suddenly their hands are all calm and they're nowhere to be seen. Either, you know, just put them down. Their palms are just facing downwards or maybe in their pockets. So they're basically hiding their hands, their palm. So that means they have something that they're hiding. They're not exactly being honest. That's actually my favorite to see if someone is like moving their hands and then suddenly they just calm down. Now, these were the seven gestures to know if someone may be lying or not. But something that you need to keep in mind is if someone, is, someone has their hands in their pocket, does not mean that they're lying. These are, it's not like a rule, okay, that's what it is and this is how it's gonna be. No, it, it depends on the context. It depends on what is going on, you know? So like if a person is putting their phone in their pocket, doesn't mean they're lying. It depends on everything overall. So also if you kind of suspected something, like if someone itched their neck, for example, as they were saying something and you kind of doubt and you just want to be sure so you ask them again can you say that again i didn't hear you so see what kind of reaction or gesture they're going to be doing and that's when you can kind of be even more sure if they were lying or not now didn't you find that interesting so i hope you found this useful and that you were entertained and learned something today so you can watch out and not be fooled no more mm -mm. so don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter or facebook so we can gossip together and also be sure to click the subscribe button so you can see more videos. Take care. Your hair is done just the way you want it to be and your makeup is perfect. So you take one last look at the mirror before you start rushing out because you know you're late most of the time. And then you... So for the first fact, did you know that large plates make the portion of food in them appear smaller than it really is and also small plates